What is going on YouTube? Today is gonna be freaking awesome. I'm already having like such a good day. How do I, I'm in Lexi's car, I don't wanna do anything in here. Um, I'm already having like such a good day and it's gonna be an even better day because I am headed to Lifetime right now to meet up with my friend Christopher. He's an extremely, extremely talented professional salsa dancer. Really, really good friend of mine. We were both homeschooled so we're like, we're homies. <laughs> I've never had salsa dancing lessons um, besides like I, I went to this like Latin bar a few times and I would get like the I guess like bar lessons at the, at the bar and they weren't like it was like a big group thing and anyways I've never had one-on-one -on -one, like salsa dancing lessons so Christopher is gonna teach me some new moves and some like cool footwork and whatnot and I'm gonna try to show some uh, behind the scenes on my channel as well as my snapchat so I am so freaking excited I fell in love with salsa dancing when I was like 18 danced socially and kind of picked it up I actually almost competed in a salsa dancing competition a long time ago and then it just like didn't work out so I'm going to start I'm gonna start going more often. Cause it's really good exercise too. I used to go like every, like I think Friday and Sunday night and I would just dance for like four or five hours, you know, straight. And, like dancing is such a good exercise, like, especially for your core, man. Like I, I sweated and I would just drink water the whole time. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Okay, thank you so much. It's something that I always felt like it was like very like a stress relief, like playing piano and salsa dancing. I can salsa, bachata, merengue, cumbia, and cha-cha in my Starbucks, and then we have a fish for. Thing for a little bit, but um, Christopher and I have been friends for what? How long? Six years? Yeah, it's six, been six about years. six years now. And we met at a like a salsa a salsa meetup. Yeah. And I went up to him and I was like, Hey, you're really good at dancing. Dance with me. <laughs> and we've been friends ever since. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Christopher. Well, uh, basically, salsa was a little bit of like a therapy for me in the beginning, but it turned into something that I enjoyed doing like very often. I started performing with salsa, but. Um, 
yeah, it was, it's been awesome. You know, it's been awesome knowing Heidi. She's so talented in what she does. But we're gonna keep on dancing. I will put um, Christopher's like Snapchat and Instagram in the link down below so you guys can check out his stuff. And yeah, we're gonna keep dancing, so bye guys. What's going on YouTube? So I was editing this footage and I was putting it together and I wanted to talk a little bit about cardio. Like what my current cardio is and what it is when it's bulk, when I'm bulking, when I'm cutting. Basically when I'm bulking, like right now, um, I try to do 10 minutes of cardio before I work out and then 10 minutes of cardio afterwards. But to be honest, I really haven't been doing that as consistently. I try to do that like for every workout. Um, really just because cardio is really good for your body, not just for you know, burning calories, but just getting your blood flowing throughout your body. So when I'm bulking, that is my thing. I try to do 10 minutes of treadmill before my workout, and then I'll do like 10 minutes of Stairmaster, like steady pace after my workout. Sorry, I'm really popular right now. <laughs> just kidding, really not that cool. So when I'm cutting, what I try to do is like three times a week, 30 to 40 minutes of cardio, like when I'm prepping for a show and I'm cutting and whatnot. Oh, mom, you can come out here. Okay. So when I'm cutting, I try to do cardio about three times a week and I'll, I'll up it to like 30 to 40 minutes and I usually stay on one thing after my workout. So I'll do like five, 10 minute warm up on the treadmill or whatnot and then I'll do like 30 to 40 minutes after my workout and I try to do that three times a week and that works well for me. Some people, they might need less cardio whereas like some people might need like five days a week of cardio and they'll do like an hour each day and I'm like, you go, you do that. Everybody's different. Some some people need uh, more cardio than others. My body just responds really, really well to weight. So sometimes instead of doing cardio, straight on cardio, I'll do like circuit training, like whole body circuit training instead. Mom, I can hear you in the fridge. <laughs> what are you doing? Precious. Salsa dancing is very classy and very proper and it's something that I've always enjoyed doing. You can do it with like your brother, your dad, like a family member, um, a boyfriend, a friend. A few years ago, I used to go like four or five years ago, a lot. And I, I, I went quite often because at the time I was a little, a little chunkier, I gained some weight in San Antonio. And my way of doing cardio was... <laughs> <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> My mom is so funny. Anyway, I want to lose some weight. Cardio was just not fun for me, so instead I found something I love that was active, which was salsa dancing. And I used to go like two to like four times a week sometimes. I would just go for hours. And I and it was a it was something active that I really enjoyed doing. And I would do it for hours sometimes. Sorry guys, my house is so full of people right now. Anyways, so I just wanted to touch on the subject real quick. You do not enjoy working out and you do not enjoy cardio, find something active that you do enjoy doing. For like my clients online that I train, I tell them like, what do you enjoy doing? Like I'll, I'll say cardio, I'll, I'll suggest different types of cardio, but if they do something that they enjoy, I put that into their program. So if you love Zumba or yoga, kayaking or hiking or canoeing or swimming, maybe you enjoy swimming, you know, whatever you enjoy doing, like I try to incorporate that into programs to make it fun, you know, because lifting weights and walking on the treadmill and doing Stairmaster and all that is great. Switch it up sometimes, make it fun. Make your fitness lifestyle, active lifestyle like fun. Like go do like cool stuff. Incorporate it in your lifestyle to make fitness more fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this part out. Enjoy the rest of the video. Nero, you've been an awfully naughty dog lately. I think you need Jesus. Uh -uh. Sit, who do you think you are? Just trying to eat your food without praying? What kind of Christian are you? Dear puppy God, please bless this puppy food, nourish my puppy body, and please be with all the puppies that don't have a roof over their head or food in their bellies. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. Amen. What's up, YouTube? We're putting up the Christmas tree. Yeah, huh? Lexi's making Christmas. me do it. It's 10 days before Christmas. I don't want to put the tree up because my mom has a tree. And I guess, I don't know, adults put. Do it for Nero! I'm gonna get Nero his own baby tree. It'd be a lot easier than putting this stupid tree up. Oh, well, you are just the biggest bridge this year. Bob. They hate this. It's for him. If I put this tree up, it's staying up for a long time. Like, till next year. Ah! No! No, not the tree! Hey, Not twice, it's not for Nero, it's for me. Am I being a Grinch? <laughs> You're the biggest Grinch. I'm going to Alaska. They're gonna, my mom has a cooler tree. This is gonna go. It didn't, you didn't hear it, tree. It's okay. You're so rude. To the tree, what 
did it do to you? I think we have a problem. What? What do you mean? Pasha, 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 Pasha. Wow, we like Pasha. <laughs> How's it going, YouTube? Today is uh, Thursday. Today's Thursday. I'm in North Pole, Alaska right now, and I'm visiting my family for Christmas, and I'm gonna be here for, oh gosh, I think it's like five days or so. About to have breakfast right now. Starbucks is amazing. I know I show you guys Starbucks in my videos all the time, but like the coffee shops in Alaska are like a hundred times better than Starbucks. Sorry, Starbucks, but I'm being serious. They're, they're so good. Like the coffee is like so fresh and amazing and delicious. But yes, so right now I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I am going to go out on the town, do a little bit of Christmas shopping because I am that person that waits until a few days before Christmas to do Christmas shopping. <music> You have to open this. No, I don't want it. It's not even that cool. I don't want it. Just open it. I'm breathing heavily because I just walked up the stairs. Oh, it's so beautiful. Do you like it? Yes. Tan crocheted. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, can you please? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, thanks. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I love you. So, ready to go shopping. Got the outfit on. I got the headpiece from my sister Mary. Obviously, just opened it. Where did you... Where'd you get it from? I got it at a Christmas bazaar in town. A lady like hand crocheted it. It's so so you're nice. the only person in the world that has that. The only person in the world? Yeah. Wow. And then this uh, jacket is from Guess. I got this scarf. A subscriber actually brought it to me in Canada and it's like my favorite ever because it has like these little pockets in it. You can put your phone in. Super cute. Um, pants are from Guess as well. Can you tell I like Guess? And shoes are from Famous Footwear that I stole from this one. What are you Mom eating? Never know. Stop, yeah, Mary. Those are from the mailman. Put it in the bag. Bad. Just took a little tiny chunk out. Right, give me a chunk. Just a little bite. Just it's kind of soggy. Mm. It's still good. Mm. Mm. You like your headband? I love it. Eggnog latte, girl. Eggnog latte. Straight like eggnog. Just steamed eggnog and espresso with whipped cream and cinnamon. Do you, do you ever have 30 ounces? Okay, guys, so I'm getting an eggnog latte. That is my bulking drink. So I get like a steamed eggnog and espresso. It's like straight eggnog and espresso. It's high in calories. Yes, it is. If you're not bulking, I would suggest like an Americano light cream and like a sugar free flavor. That's like my cutting coffee. And you know what? An eggnog latte is not like organic, it's not all natural and whatnot. And um, I'm like a huge fan of eating healthy. Like I love eating, eating like whole natural foods. When I'm bulking, I like to do a mixture of eating like whole natural foods as well as some like some naughtier, you know, processed foods because life is short and I'm gonna have that slice of pizza. Ooh. I am gonna dabble in some naughtier food. Dabbling sounds weird. Dabbling? I like to dabble. It sounds like you got a drug problem, Heidi. Dabbling in drugs. Dabbling in drugs. And then some crack cocaine. Look at that guy. He's in line on a snowmobile. That's that's legit. <laughs> no. You're so dense. Look at this fatness. This chubbiness. Look at this chubbiness. He's like hard. Alright, Fred Meyer. You better have some legit stuff. Hi, buddy. So Mary went to the restroom and I'm here babysitting. This little man. What's up, bro? What's up? You excited that I'm babysitting? <laughs> and he's a little chunker. Precious. You don't miss any meals, do you? <laughs> he doesn't. Those <laughs> cheats. Oh, <laughs> 
Don't hit, buddy. Hey guys, so for those of you that are vegan or vegetarian, this is actually a really good protein to get. I had it a long time ago, but I'm extremely, extremely allergic to peas. And that is like mostly what it is, it's pea protein. I got you, girl. Of hungry breath. <laughs> Ew, gross. So we're out Christmas shopping, and why not, why not pick up a gun? Why not? Jeez. You want a Nerf gun for Christmas? Or a real gun. I'm gonna buy this kid too. <laughs> Are you free 99? <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> He's literally like the same size as you. His head is bigger than yours. His head is bigger than yours. It looks wrong when you hold yeah, him. Like, does it look wrong? Because his head is like bigger than yours. Does he hold the baby? It doesn't, it doesn't look right. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to conclude this video, this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just want to give you guys a quick update on the giveaway. So what I'm doing like once a month is I want to do some sort of giveaway. This month is going to be five supplement stacks, and I'm going to give that away on January 15th. So all you have to do up until January 15th is just be engaged on my channel, subscribe to my channel, giving the video a thumbs up, commenting on my videos, sharing the videos, and whoever is most active is who is going to win the giveaway. I'm excited to announce the winners on January 15th. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in the next one, guys.